Hello YouTube, and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D LAN tutorial. So, last tutorial we rushingly made it so we can basically pick up this cube, equip it to our mouse, and then pull it down. And it worked kind of well until we modified it, then it went horrible. But basically, pick it up, new item, click it, it says put down now. So we click put down and we can drag it around. So what we're going to do today in this tutorial, hopefully a nicer one, um, because that was kind of rushed, but hey, I hope you liked it. We're going to hide the inventory when we actually pour it on. We're also going to make it so it properly follows the mouse, because it's awful at the moment. And then, when we click, it's going to go, boom, and just fall down. And then, hopefully, when we click, we reset the cameras, we come back in, we've done. Take it out of our inventory, stuff like that. But we also need an escape, so say if we press escape or click a cancel button, it resets. So the first thing we're going to do is actually fix that mouse because that is awful. So we need to go and find our, um, which one is it, cage building here. Object will follow mouse, we're going to open it up. So I basically explained Raycast last week. All it basically is is a line from your camera down, we know that. And if you did watch that tutorial, you also remember me saying that we that line can intersect and get data so whatever it hits it can get name you can stop it whatever you like so what we're going to do is hide these two here just these two pos bits and we're going to put a new one down here and we're going to type var hit for as in it's hit hit whatever it's hit and this will be a raycast hit two capitals and what that basically is is it goes and gets a ray which stands for raycast and then it gets a hit so whatever it hits so a lot like a function on trigger hit it's called whenever it hits this just basically stores hits I um, don't think you can have an on trigger enter variable that's a bit weird I don't know, I don't know. try it you never know but from this what we're going to do is type if physics a physics yeah dot raycast I don't know why it's dot physics I really don't know it makes more sense to just be raycast but physics dot raycast and then in order to call um, this script physics dot raycast which is inside physics you need two parameters well you can have loads of parameters but we're going to use two and we'll say the name of our raycast line which we fired which is line and then so so basically it's saying raycast hit which line do you want to look at because you can create multiple lines so we want to look at the line what's firing down and then we want to detect whatever it hits just like that so in here this is where we can actually get all the details by calling hit whatever so if we type hit dot game object dot name it'll return the name of whatever you've hit so it's also good for shooting games if you have a raycast constantly firing in middle of your screen so in the center and then every time you press the mouse button it records where it's hit if it hits something you kill it and yes I know people are going to spam the comments for a first person shooter tutorial I'll get on to it but yeah so in here now what we need to basically do is grab the position of whatever we've hit and you may think well it's just that it's even shorter than that we're gonna copy this part up here and paste it in here but we're gonna modify it so instead of new post x we'll type hit dot point and what this will do is instead of getting, if we just put hit, it'll get whatever it, whatever it's hit no matter what. So if it goes through something, because it's not got a collider, it'll go through the floor. It'll also get multiple points, so it'll keep spamming between them. And we don't want that. So if you put hit dot point, it'll get whatever the end of that point hits. So um, if that's a bad explanation for someone who's a pro at Raycast, I apologise. But yeah, so we're going to put that in for all of them. But then we're going to have to actually change it on the Y. It is kind of funny what happens when you do it. But I'll show you what, why we, how we change it in a minute. So now, if I were to go in collect and press it, you'd see it would follow the mouse. But it starts recording every single Y point that it hits. Which is very funny, but not needed. So I'll show you. So if we go up here and collect this, click it and put, put down. You can see it works, but it keeps calling the Raycast over and over again which is not what we need so as you can see it's following the mouse perfect now really really well so what this camera is basically doing is from the top view which I can't show you from here whenever it fires a line say it hits here 
it will get the x and y axis of that in our game world and set our camera to it. But the z well, the x and z, but the y is constantly being called. So a good way to fix this is to grab your temple and drag it out so it's got no parent. And you can see it's 293, minus 293, that's its, wait, what, well, minus 294. So that's its height close to the floor and it works fine. So if we imagine it's in the middle and we put minus 294 because that's where it was, but then boost it up a little bit just so it's not touching the ground so we've got room for it to go bump. So if I just say 280, it will be clear above the ground, we click, it falls down, it ends, hopefully. So we can get rid of these. Bet at Raycast tutorial, that's an actual Raycast. Um, if you want hit not named, hit not whatever, you can. Unity Docs is a great place for that, or there's lots of tutorials. But now we need to make it so when we click. So object follow mouse, I'm primarily just going to make this follow the, what you call it, dum 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 dum. Um, just for the building part because the maze game works fine. So we're going to put if input dot get mouse button down. It's a long one, and we'll just say zero because that's for the first one. So basically, I hope that's it. We might get an error for that, but get mouse button down does exactly what it says on the tin. If you press a mouse button down, it's got I believe three. So your left mouse button, the normal one. Your right mouse button is number one, and then number two is your middle mouse button. So you scroll wheel, you can press it in. I don't believe it has functionality for extra buttons. You might have to program it yourself. I'm not sure on that one. So if by extra buttons that I've got a sensitive speed, so press the button, it goes faster. Press it slower, it goes slower. Stuff like that. So yeah. Um, in here, we ne we simply need to turn the rigid body on so it uses gravity, and then disable this script. That simple. So we'll put in this dot game object dot collider. You don't have to put this. I keep saying that, but you don't. I just prefer to put it. It works. It works without it. Whatever. It just makes it. It just makes it a bit more English e and understandable if you get it. So people who don't use Unity, not always. You well, transform dot position. They might be like, well, what am I transforming? This it just helps. So this dot game object dot collider dot use gravity equals true and then this dot enable well actually destroy this dot in fact yeah there you go destroy this it'll destroy the script so as soon as we click it'll go bump and destroy hopefully and then after that we'll destroy the rigid body as well so because if we don't destroy it then it'll be annoying Collider, what am I thinking of? Rigid body. So this dot rigid body. I bet you were always sat there like what? But yeah. So destroy rigid body. And then we'll give it a timer of say five so it destroys it eventually. And then it'll automatically destroy that. So hopefully that should work. So let's give it a blast. So hopefully we should be able to give we have an error. Fifteen. Do 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 there. Mr. Bracket off, as you can see. So hopefully when we click, it should go boom. We need a sound, which I don't have, but yeah, I'm not very good at sound hunting, before you all say. So we collect it, we fire, and it should be all good. The rest is easy. So we click, put down. Ooh, so close. Nearly, nearly worked. So it's a trigger, that's why it's messing up. We need to set the collider, I was partially already there. So this dot collider dot is trigger equals false. So hopefully that should work perfectly now. So I've got it and I'm going to click put down and we'll say right about there in front of the character. Boom. Look at that. It worked. I think. Let's have a look. There we go. So obviously that guy's going through it because he's got triggers but yeah. So we've put a cage down. That's bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> but yeah, so we've now got cage buildings pretty much. So let's see what we've got left to do. We've got the inventory, so let's turn that off. So we need to go to our G inventory GUI, which is here. And what we're going to do is scroll down, 
we're going to improve this one day because this is an awful inventory at the moment. But yeah, so building, blah blah blah. We need to turn it off, the inventory off. So inventory on, I'm going to make it a normal variable. And down here, I'm going to type here simply inventory on equals false. Done. So it turns it off. That's the inventory bit gone. So we also need a button, which is kind of obvious. But yeah, so where the best place to put the button, it will probably be object follow mouse because it that's active while the inventory shuts off. So it kind of makes sense to. And plus it will destroy itself after, so it's a bonus. So down here we're going to type function on GUI. We're not going to create any variables what we need editing, we're just going to make it all in here. We're going to put if gui.button rect and then we'll say for the, well I definitely know it's going to be 70 by 30 and it's going to say exit. Yeah, it's definitely going to say that, but for this x and y, the y will definitely be 0, but the x will be, hmm. That's a good one. We'll say 1024 minus 30, well, 70 off of it. So we'll say 960, hopefully. So if we click exit, what does it need to do? Let's think. It needs to turn the inventory back on. So we go game object dot find character dot get component inventory gui dot inventory on equals true so it sets it back on easy enough so when we click we also need to take it out of the inventory we haven't done that one yet so it'll turn the inventory back on and it needs to switch the cameras and everything back to so we also need to destroy the game object we're holding because we've created it we need to destroy it we haven't took it out of our inventory yet so destroy game object and of course I'm going to put this so we click exit, it'll destroy it, but then we need to go back to where we set our cameras. So I believe it was in here. So this one here we need to completely reverse. So I'm just going to grab these ones, paste it in here. Simple enough really. And we'll go put this at the bottom so it destroys it after, otherwise it might not always do this. So false false and then this one's true. So it resets all the cameras. So we should pretty much be completely back then. But one thing I am going to do is create a new function just below and type function quit and inside it I'm going to put all this. And you're wondering well why am I doing that? It fit perfectly. I'm just creating more lines. The reason I'm doing it is to make it more user friendly. So up here put the quit function in. Ah. What we can do is we can come back up here and type if input.get key down and then we can put it, I think it's escape, we might have to look at that one. But then we can just put quit. So the user can either press escape or press the exit button in order to quit. But looking at it now we've got a small error. So if function on GY and update are constantly going check, 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 we press a button with our left mouse. We also put the object down with our left mouse. So we've got a kind of glitchy slash error thing there. So instead of this, I'm going to make it two, in fact one. So you have to press your left mouse to put it down. Obviously, we'll eventually show the user a button saying press blah blah blah. GUI.label rect. And we'll say this is screen.width width divided by two plus. 50, yeah, that work. And screen dot height divided by two plus thirty. I think that work. Basically, I'm doing this because, yeah. So the basically the screen dot width, so it gets 1024. We'll just say a thousand to make it easier. Divide it by two. That's 500 in the middle. But a label's pivot is to the side when I explain pivots it was this side. So it halves it or increases it to one side so it's in the middle. And then here we'll just put press click to place building. And then we'll say or 
press the right mouse button to quit. Yeah, that seems to work. Right, so let's try it. So we should be able to click it, press, it should go boom, it should reset us completely, hopefully. That was a hopefully though, but yes. Obviously, actually I think I messed up on the thing on that one. But we collect it and put put down. You can see it's kind of in the middle. Click it, nothing happens. Click our right mouse button, it places it. But it doesn't reset us, which is it's supposed to. So let's go and have a look. So it doesn't reset us, we can just put well we can't put quit because we don't need that. But we can copy all these ones up here. We just paste it in here. I know it's lousy programming, but I don't want to create a function yet. So that should work. So we need to rename this because this is wrong. Press the right mouse button. I'm going to increase this to 300 and 150. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Press the right mouse button to place building, or press the left mouse button to quit. Wait, no. Or press the escape button to quit. There we go. So hopefully this should be almost done. Pretty much. Disney Infinity for the win, really. So let's hope it works. We'll create some more cooler buildings what do stuff eventually. So like this cage can harbour people or something. And we'll also check whether it's on top of anyone. So as you can see, press the rise mouse button, blah blah blah. So we'll say place it here. Oh dear. Well for some reason we've disappeared. Where have we gone? So as you can see, the cage has been placed correctly, but our camera has completely disappeared. Ah, it's it's done something, something weird. Let's see. So camera, it turns it on. So weirdly, we did something weird. That makes no sense. Basically, let's see. So inventory on should be false. Then the camera should be back on. No. So down here I copied the wrong lines, if you didn't guess. So we're going to copy all this and paste it up here. The wrong lines. So this time it'll turn the build camera and the spotlight off, but the main camera on. So, last chat try. Then after this I think it should be end of the tutorial because it's getting quite late. Well, not late, long, that one here. It's actually like 3 o'clock in the morning here. But yeah, so I grab a thing, put down place the mouse button to place down or do whatever I want to exit perfect put down again and escape perfect put down click it haha -ha! perfect so we just need some extra sound effects some cool stuff we can't run through it which is kind of funny because you can see straight through it but it works building we've now got a successful building we still need to check whether it's like there or not but now that we've done that we can put temples as that walls as that you can create your own anything it should be really cool we've just opened up a massive new era of gameplay for our game but i'm going to start rambling on how cool that is because i've never attempted it before this has all been off the top of my mind if you can't guess but i really hope you like it just try it even if you don't want it in your game just put it in uh, it'll draw a lot of more users well a lot more users in um, yes, I know most of you are going to say now that I've done that I should make in-game like terrain so you can place it down, but hey, give me a chance. But that'll be it for now. So I hope you liked it. We'll add some more effects maybe another time, some sound, some cool stuff. If you've got any ideas, please comment below. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Join my Facebook group, hit, hit me a rate please, and I'll see you.